I'm Artemis Fowl. I'm a diamond thief stealer, the greatest. Yeah. Fuck this movie. Okay. <sighs> Still working? Yeah, no intro this time. <laughs> We're just going straight into this. Hey everybody, it's your boy the Tatemeister here. <laughs> We're here to review, uh... Artemis Fowl. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Um... It sucks. End of video. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, what is there to say? What is there to say? <laughs> Alright, well, as I always, I start with the positives. You know, <laughs> okay, I guess the positive is the visual effects. Uh, I got nothing, guys. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, I really hate this movie. It's beyond. It's the cats of this year. It's official. <laughs> it's my least favorite movie of the year. Alright, I'm going to explain why this movie is so ridiculously bad, but before I do, let me just say... What? I really hope the books aren't aren't as bad as this movie is. I hope this is the last Airbender scenario where the source material is great, but the movie sucks. I hope that's the case, because... Okay, so... This movie is directed by Kenneth Branagh. I think he produces and... Right, writes it too. Let me check. Yeah, it's produced and written by him, and written and written or produced and directed by him. Written by Connor Ferrison and Hamish, uh, whatever. Um, yeah. So, which is weird because Kenneth Branagh is a great actor and director. He's made really great movies and been in a lot of great movies. So, him making this movie honestly just bothers me a lot because I mean it's it is a cat scenario like. Judy Dench and all. For real. This is a Cats movie. This is just like Cats, but without the songs. But, my gosh. Guys. Okay. Why is Judy Dench choosing to... Like, she's a great actress. Why is she choosing to be in these terrible movies? I don't understand, guys. Okay. I'm just going to start from the beginning, go through the movie beginning to end, to explain why this movie is a travesty, that it is. But, okay. So in the beginning of the movie, when I started watching the movie, I'm like, you know, this isn't so bad. Maybe, you know, Chris Tuckman gave it an F, people were saying it was terrible. I'm like, I, I start watching the movie, I'm like, okay, this isn't so bad. Some ocean, some surfing, you know, some nice cool stuff. All right, this, cause this won't be half bad. If only I knew. If only I knew what was in store <laughs> later in the movie. Like, it starts out nice, but it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It just doesn't get any better. It just gets worse from there. Don't be fooled. <laughs> you think, you think it's going to be good. But don't be fooled. They get you in the first 10 minutes. Okay. So. To be honest, I thought some of the characters were kind of likable. <laughs> All right. Let me just summarize. The writing is terrible. The direction is terrible. The acting is terrible. <laughs> the execution is terrible. The story is terrible. <laughs> Everything is terrible. There's nothing good. Just do yourself a favor. Please, I'm begging you, if you're watching this video, just please, do not watch Artemis Val. Just, just don't. Whatever you do, 
I watch it for the people. I do this for the people. I'm begging you, please. Do whatever you do, do not watch this movie. You will lose brain cells. You will lose your mind. It is it is it's an abomination against mankind. I mean, it's not scary stories levels bad, and it's still not as bad as cats. But it got pretty freaking close. It got pretty close. By the end, guys, like, bro, let me put it to you this way. I, I might as well spoil the movie because I don't want anybody seeing this. So I'm just going to spoil what happens in the movie because I, I beg of you, please do not waste your time. Do not see this movie, whatever you do. You will, you will, you'll want to kill people. This movie is, is beyond. Anyway, so at the end, by the way, this, this, this stupid narrator dwarf, this is dwarf in the movie, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to mention there's dwarves and fairies. How original concept, right? Yeah, dwarves and fairies in the movie. So, um, this dwarf's narrating the movie, and he, by the way, he's annoying ass frick. He's the most annoying character in the movie. I hate him. But he's narrating the movie, and at the end, they just he just jumps out of the prison and like, oh yeah, Artemis was planning this the whole time. Huh? I'm like, really? Okay. But even stupider than that, <laughs> they literally clap. They they copied the Jurassic Park ending, like bro, with the sunset and helicopters and everything. I'm like. And I'm just sitting there at the end like, well, that was a movie. A terrible one. <laughs> Bro, this movie is the most unoriginal thing I think I've ever seen from Disney. Most, like, they copy every single movie, every single trope, every single, like, everything. There's nothing original in this. Nothing. Zero. Zilch not have. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> they copy every single movie. This is what happened. Kenneth and the producers are like, okay, guys, how are we going to copy every movie that ever been made and put it into this movie? Let's just do that. Let's just copy every movie that's ever been made, put it in this movie, and call it people like it, right? Because we're copying other movies people like, so people like it. Well, no, that's not how it works. Oh, man. So, yeah. Um, somehow this is worse than Rhythm Section. Somehow this is worse than Last Thing You Wanted, which is my previous last least favorite movie of the year. I didn't review that on the channel, but... Um... I don't know, Disney. I don't know. How do they go from Togo to this? That's that's what I don't understand. Togo is like the best Disney live action movie. And then they make this. It's like, bro. What's going on? I, I don't. Mm. You know. I, I wouldn't say this is the worst. Nutcracker still takes the cake, probably. Nutcracker and the Four Realms is one of the worst films ever made. I'm not saying this is that level of bad. But it got pretty close. I wouldn't, and I wouldn't say it's the worst, one of the worst movies of all time. There are good elements in this film. Just like Cats had good elements in it. Doesn't mean it's a good movie. Not at all. No. Nah. No. Just no. Because the first half of the movie, I legit thought, okay, this isn't so bad. Hmm. If only I knew. If only I knew. So yeah, guys. I, I, don't, I don't have categories for this because everything's bad. I'm probably going to give all the categories one or two or really low. What's the point of doing the categories? Because I hated mostly everything. Uh, all right, another scene in the movie. There's like this guy that he dies and it's really emotional. I'm like, oh, wow, they're actually putting an emotional moment in this movie. And they just bring him back to life 10 seconds later. I'm like, great. <laughs> the one emotional moment in the movie. And you just bring him back to life instantly. I'm like, bro. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the character of Artemis Fowl in this movie. Okay, so this kid, I feel bad for this kid playing Artemis Fowl because he's never going to get hired for a movie again now <laughs> because this movie will go down as one of the most hated films of all time. <laughs> it's going to be Last Airbender because the Last Airbender kid doesn't get hired for anything anymore. So I feel bad for this kid because he's playing the most egotistical, annoying son of a bitch I've ever seen in a movie. Like, Artemis himself... Is one of the worst main characters I, th I think I've ever seen in a movie. I, I mean, I want to punch this kid. I want to beat him up. <laughs> he's just a bitch. Oh my gosh. I really hope he's better in the books, guys. I really hope so. And it's sad because you have great actors like Colin Farrell in this. Granted, he's wasted and he's barely in it, but whatever. Judy Dench, who's choosing to be in horrible movies. I don't know why. Um, Josh Gad, I guess. Is that all the famous actors? That's all the famous actors, isn't it? <laughs> Guys, I, I'm really trying to find the good in Artemis Fowl, but there is nothing good in Artemis Fowl. It's just bad. 
there's nothing there's nothing more to explain like this makes Blade Runner 2 look great in comparison I'm sorry Blade Runner 2 fans I I I I, I give you credit where credit is due Blade Runner 2 is a movie <laughs> this is not a movie it's just crazy bull crap that happens it's just not even a movie it's just uh, you know I don't even know like what what were they thinking with this like did they, did they even know they were messing up did, I don't know it's like movies like cats and Artemis Fowl you gotta wonder like what in the frick happened with these movies I don't know I just it gave me a headache guys I don't want to think about Artemis Fowl again I don't want to look at Artemis Fowl again I just don't like this movie at all it's just bad so with all that being said i will give my score for artemis now 3.4 it's almost as bad as cats almost not quite but pretty freaking cool Tiss, tiss. You know, it had so much potential. You had one of the most liked book series of all time. And you turned it into this, Disney. Are you proud of yourselves? Was it worth it? Did you make money? Oh, you didn't because you put it on Disney+. Plus. But was it worth it? Was it worth it, Disney? You know, you know, some things should stay as books. You know, I'm just saying. Like, Rhythm Section should have stayed a book. Artemis Fowl should have stayed a book. Because now we have these terrible movies. <laughs> you know? Now we have these terrible movies that nobody likes. Good job, Disney. You soulless bastards. I don't know which is worse. Them making Artemis Fowl or them changing the 20th Century Fox to 20th Century Studios. It's like Both of them were the worst things they've done this year. I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Disney started losing my respect. <laughs> this, is, this is just... I can't believe it. But anyway, guys. So, that's my review of Artemis Fowl. <laughs> and you know, when I don't like a movie, you know it's bad. Because it doesn't take much to appease me, guys. It, it really doesn't. I like freaking Bloodshot and Alien Covenant and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So the fact that this movie I didn't even like is just insane. <laughs> what? You really messed up. I don't like a movie. You really messed up. Uh, anyway, so thank you all for watching. And hopefully Defy Bloods is better. Please, Spike Lee, save me from this hell. <laughs> just help me. Cleanse my soul from... This movie destroyed my soul. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I just need it. I need a break. I'm going to watch Defy Blood. So thank you all for watching. Tate of Feister signing out. And uh, Kenneth, please. Hopefully your next movie's good. I hope. I know you're a good director. Just, I don't know. Tom Hooper and Kenneth, they just, they messed up. Everybody messes up, I guess. Tate of Meister signing out. Bye.